What's up guys? Zach here with yet another video. This video is actually shot yesterday, so I will walk you guys through my legs, calves, and abs workout. This is going to be distinctly different than the hamstring and calves workout I posted a few days ago. I've decided to go back to the drawing board and back to the basics. I'm going to involve my hamstrings, my quads, my glutes, my calves, all in one workout. And if I have the energy, I will be doing some abs at the end for lower back health. And of course, just to keep my abdominal muscles strong and functioning well. I started off this workout with barbell squats at the time a few guys were benching so I didn't set up the camera the squats went okay in my hips but my left shoulder flexibility is really 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 limiting me from having the bar positioned evenly across my back so I am going to go back to hack squats as my number one quad knee dominant movement so That'll be happening this next leg workout, which will be in two to three days. So after working through the remaining deadlifts you guys just saw there, I moved on to leg press. For those of you who followed my Instagram last fall, you may remember I would put eight to ten plates per side, really limit the range of motion, maybe get two-thirds of the range of motion I'm getting here, and I was really forcefully locking my knees out because I would put so much force at the bottom knowing that I was going to have a hard time getting out of that position and then at the top subsequently when it gets easier my knees would lock out and I was getting some patellar pain so I've decided to drop the weight keep the reps nice and high I always do sets of no less than 12 I'll do 20 reps I'll do 25 reps on the leg press the beauty of the leg press is as long as your back is stable against the pad and you lock yourself in and don't lean forward too much, your legs are the limiting factor. It's not your low back. So you can really smoke your legs without taxing your low back a ton. So I will be using the leg press as my secondary knee movement or quad dominant movement uh, for the time being. And I'll slowly progress in weight, but I am going to keep the set somewhere around four to five sets of 15 to 25 reps. May also include some drop sets there as well, depending on how I'm feeling that day. So after doing some of the big movements, I moved on to a few unilateral, so one leg at a time movements. Right here, you can see I'm just doing a good old fashioned split squat. I used to do these with my rear foot elevated, but I just don't have the flexibility in my quads and hip flexors to do the movement well. I feel it too much in the back leg. I feel like my rear leg is contributing too much to the movement just because there's a lot of tightness there. So I am going to continue to work on my flexibility. Uh, a big, big theme of my training this year, ever since I've been back these past four months, and I'm going to continue this in the future, is being honest with myself. If I can't do something well, I'm either going to work on it and to improve it or I'm going to find something else that I do do well that still hits the same muscles. So that's a big focus for me, being honest with myself. For too long, I've neglected certain things because I just wasn't honest with myself that, you know, these are things I need to be doing or these are things that I shouldn't be doing based on my own my own anatomy and physiology, my own body mechanics. So with that said, after the split squats, I moved on to a one-leg deadlift pattern. This is my left leg right now, which is my weak leg. I've played basketball all my life, so I'm left-handed and right hip dominant. So doing these unilateral movements, my ultimate goal is to improve the strength imbalances left to right, as well as the, the muscular hypertrophy imbalances I have left to right. I have bigger left quads and bigger glutes and hamstrings on my right side. So left quads bigger than my right quads, right glutes and hamstrings bigger than my left glutes and hamstrings. You can see here my right side, I just trust more. I went really, really light. This was just four sets of 12 each side. 
I am a little bit sore today in my glutes and my hamstrings, which is a good sign, but I will start upping the weight. I may even use kettlebells instead of dumbbells in the future. After the split squats and the deadlifts, I moved on to good old leg extensions. So one of my favorite exercises to once again perform a drop set. So I did three to four sets, straight set, straight weight before going into this final drop set. I believe I dropped the weight twice for a total of three drop sets. First set, I think the weight was around 140 or 150 pounds, dropped it down to 120, just kept pumping it out from there. I really try to point my toes up towards the sky. I know some people actually try to, ex try to extend their foot, so push their toes away from themselves. Uh, for me, that just brings on knee pain, especially on my left side. So I actually point my toes up to the sky, so my, my foot ends up being dorsiflexed at that point, and I really find that it keeps my knees more stable, and I even get a better contraction in my quads. So I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, good lesson for everybody out there. Do what works for you. Do what feels good for you, not just what a book says, not what your favorite YouTube personality says. Not what the, the trainer at the gym says. Do what works for you. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing a lift and something doesn't quite feel right. Really, really try to think about it and then go with the flow. Go with what your body does. All of our body mechanics are different. We all have different flexibility issues, different strength issues, and just generally different movement patterns. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, just about to the end of the video, leg curls, so the opposite of leg extensions, we're working our hamstrings here, I kept the weight pretty light, my hamstrings are pretty smoked at this point, so it's always high reps with the isolation movements, I've found that it's best to keep them high, their whole purpose is to get lots of blood flowing, get a great pump, build some hypertrophy, so build some muscular size, this isn't about strength, this isn't about your one rep max, this is all about getting lots and lots of volume. So what I did here is I had the weight, I believe is at 70 or 80 pounds, busted that out for 15, dropped the weight by 10 pounds, going to continue to rep out here. I'm always trying to hit double digits on all of these drop sets, which builds a ton of reps in a short period of time. You know, in a minute to two minutes, you could get 40, 50 reps on these drop sets, which is really time efficient. And a great way to just completely fatigue the muscle, really give it all you got. And you're making sure you feel it just in the muscle that the exercise is intended for. It should only be hamstrings here. We shouldn't feel this a ton in our calves or our low back or up into your shoulders. This is all about your hamstrings. That's the beauty of isolation movements. It's all about the one muscle you're working on. So make sure... When you do do these movements, go lighter than you think you need to. Spend longer doing them. Do more sets. Do less rest. Excuse me, less rest. And I think you'll really, really, really notice a difference in your growth as well as your joint health. So last but not least, I moved on to some calf raises. I do three different toe positions. Toes slightly turned in. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle. Toes slightly turned in, toes straight on. You can see I get a little dorsiflexion at the bottom and then really try to push through. I always think about trying to push through my big toe. And then lastly, toes out. This is for the inside of the calf. So making sure you're hitting all three different angles for full calf development. I did do some abs at the end, but I did not film them. Just kind of funky to film a super set of abs. So I skipped that for today. As always, please subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to like and comment. I would really appreciate it. I'd love to talk and get to know some of you guys. So until next time, I am out.